Bill, I often find that people misunderstand or misrepresent the omni attributes, and that is they tend toward saying that God's omniscience and his omnipotence and so on mean that he can do absolutely anything, even logical impossibilities is, is what it is. You know, if your God can do absolutely anything, well then he didn't have to put Jesus on the cross and, and, and so on. Now, what do we point out in that? Well, I think we point out that that's a faulty definition of omnipotence. Omnipotence doesn't mean the ability to do the logically impossible. God can do all things, but in one sense, to make a square circle or a married bachelor is not a thing. There is no such thing. Those are just logically contradictory combinations of words. And so God cannot act contrary to his own nature. He cannot uh, sin. He cannot be unholy. Uh, he cannot be unloving. Uh, God has to act consistently with his own essence. So it's just a faulty concept of omnipotence. The uh, attribute of omnipotence means that God is capable of doing anything which it is logically possible uh, for him to do consistent with his own nature. And there are some other caveats on that that one might add of a technical philosophical nature. These are discussed in Thomas Flint and Alfred Fredoso's uh, paper, Maximal Power, which is reprinted in my anthology, Philosophy of Religion. For any philosophy students out there who want a more nuanced and philosophically uh, correct definition of omnipotence, but the rough idea is that God can do anything that's logically possible for him to do. We need to get that definition straight uh, in the Christian world and also in the skeptical world so that we're not talking past each other when we're talking about that.